Marvel Legends fans and collectors, I've got the first of the uh, wave that I've picked up, as well as Black Panther, the comic Black Panther, but I'm going to be showing you Namor, Namor the Submariner today, um, part of the builder figure of Atuma, it's not Atuma, um, no it is Atuma actually, you can read it there, so yeah, it's sort of running very thick and fast into the uh, pl plastic free packaging, um, which you know as an opener I don't really care. It is what it is. So there is a tumor on the side as well as the figures you need to get to get all the parts. So yeah, so far I have number one and number five. Black Panther number five. So we've got the Black Panther logo on the top. Wakanda Forever film comes out this week. Delight shows you the accessories on the side. Build a figure piece that it comes with. Nice picture of the figure. I think the boxes look pretty good considering. It always it is always nicer to see the figure inside the packaging. But uh, you know, we've got to deal without that now. That's just the way things are. Good to look after the environment, folks. And uh, yeah, I don't think anyone can uh, truly argue with that. Um, so yeah, let me just adjust my camera. I've got it on the shonkiest little tripod at the moment. And it's giving me the absolute shites. All right, let's hope it stays still for the next few minutes. <laughs> All right, so here he is. I think this is, you know, this is going to be a favorite of a lot of people uh, for the year. This is a really nice looking figure. I only recently just got the uh, the comic version of Namor, um, which, yeah, it was a little bit of a pricey one to pick up um, in comparison to when it was released. A little bit highly sought after, and I decided I really wanted to jump on that one before before the popularity rose and he become even more expensive. Um, even though I'm sure Hasbro will put out a new Namor um, at some point from the comic versions uh, in, you know, updated everything. So yeah, in the box he does come with the staff, the, the hand to hold it, and then a fist. And when you get the figure he does come with his, his sort of swimming hands, I guess diving hands so they're, they're really nice nicely sculpted but yeah i love what they've um i really like the design of him actually um this sort of aztecian sort of vibe to it um still feeling like a you know a different ancient civilization a lot of cool history um a lot like what uh, black panther did with wakanda a real, lot of great history, and uh, yeah, I think this guy could really come into his own. I'm excited to see him on the big screen, and uh, seeing what sort of role he plays, uh, not only in Wakanda Forever, but in the uh, future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I think he'll be very, very exciting. Now, uh, this neck piece, I have actually glued that down. It did come loose, um, which, you know, it was meant to. It was meant, you meant to be able to take it off, but I quite like it there. I think it looks good. Um, but yeah, really nicely sculpted torso. You know, got all the pinless stuff. Some of the uh, ornate designs throughout the figure are great. I really like his spear. You know, not quite trident-y. Sort of gone away from that sort of Atlantean thing, which I think is a big move for Hasbro. Uh, for Marvel. <laughs> I'm talking about Hasbro all the time. For Marvel to, uh, you know, go away from that sort of Atlantean... Let, let DC do that with their Aquaman. And, uh, you know, I think it's a big move to not step on their feet with that. And sort of go with a slightly different origin um, background. Which, you know, could well work out that it is, you know, Marvel's adapt another different adaptation of, of what is known as Atlantis. Um, but yeah, this 
this sort of piece on the arm was also loose. I glued that down as well as that, that one there. So they are separate pieces. So yeah, we're going to see figures use this sort of body again at some point, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, really love the designs. That sort of pearlescent blue there looks really good. Love the, uh, the sort of earrings. I guess you'd call them earrings. These sort of pointy ears, which is true to the design. And if you get up nice and close, you can see he has the uh, piercing through the septum of the nose as well. Which is really cool. So he's got his uh, scuba shorts. And then we have his sort of footwear, which again, it's showing like, I'm guessing that's like a pearl, but that sort of pearlescent blue there is phenomenal. And the wings, which, uh, you know, we see him sort of using them to sort of jump and fly and stuff in, in the trailer. So, you know, a, sort of a more whimsical design of the character brought into live action, which is very, very cool. Um, you know, for one thought, you know, how they're going to pull that off, if, if they're going to pull that off at all. But yeah, I think it's a phenomenal figure. I really, really like this one. It just, you know, cool to display him amongst all the, all the Wakandans and all the Black Panther related figures from the MCU. I did just pick up uh, Killmonger and uh, T'Challa. Purple T'Challa. I did have the regular um, T'Challa, so it's nice to sort of switch the the Chadwick Boseman head about head out amongst the both. Um, but yeah, really nice figure of uh, Namor the Mariner, the Submariner. <laughs> I'll probably get comments for that. All right, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. We'll come up with uh, Black Panther next. So we'll see you on the next one. Yeah.